When you look at the ships, you may think that they're small toys, but the minute you get on it, the power is to scale to the size and it becomes very real very quickly. When we build a new ship, the first question is, is this ship correct? Is it close to the reality? The length, the width and the draft of the ship are uh, reduced by a scale of 1 in 25. So a 250 meter ship, which is a big ship, will be 10 meters here. The history of this place goes back to the 50s and later on Esso came to us. They had a problem in changing of the size of the ships going from roughly 50,000 ton to 200,000 ton. Uh, their captains were a bit anxious about that because they had no simulators, no computers in the 60s. Uh, so they were looking for a place where they could anticipate on this. And as engineers, we didn't know if that would work, but we told them, okay, come and try. And that was a big success. So from there, we started in 1967. We opened the place and after that, we took over. We receive mainly pilots now, about 80% of the people coming here. We receive about 200 people per year, uh, which is a very small school. As a port engineer, I would be ashamed of designing a port like this. It is full of uh, difficulties and that's the aim of our training. We have here the locks. One of them here is a Panama lock, the new Panama lock, 50, 55 meter wide. And so the ships can go around here, uh, around uh, this uh, waterway. Port Ravel is a great place to come in. We can tweak our skills. We can do things here that we couldn't do with real live ships, but we do it to scale here so it's on real time. We have Russians here, we have uh, pilots from Brazil, and of course myself from Canada. So even over lunch and dinner we talk about different scenarios, different ships, different crews. It's, uh, it's, it's a good learning experience. We try to concentrate on what is more difficult to do on a simulator, so in order to be complementary. The difference may uh, be found uh, especially in what uh, seafarers call interactions between two ships when they are at close quarters, when they meet in a canal, when they are close to a bank, and that at this time cannot really be computed correctly, but here everything is there. So we reproduce shallow waters, bank effects and currents uh, and also waves. Usually when we build a new, new ship, we try to ask the captain of the real ship to come over and to go on the lake with our model and just do things, you know. It's a few hours, when he comes back, we ask him, is it okay? And if he says with some tears in the eyes, it's my ship, then I'm happy. <laughs>